Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again. Today is June 28, 2017, day 4 with our little precious furry friend. Our snowflake is with us and today I just want to let you to show you what we got for her uh, in terms of food. We got recommendations from our breeder that uh, she is a little kid and she introduced at age two and a half months to both canned food and dry food. As a dry food she recommended the Royal Canning uh, kitten food. This one we got from her as a present for <laughs> this uh, purchase of our little kitten. But we got exactly the same, same brand, big bag, 15 pounds bag from Amazon. So I believe it's going to be enough for her for a while. Also, uh, as all the kittens, she needs to eat uh, canned food as well. Not so much for protein, dry food giving her protein, but Canned food, we got Purina Pro Plan brand. We got chicken and liver on Amazon, but I believe this particular brand, they have another variety, which is salmon. Also, with, with the breeder, we got um, as a present Royal Canin canned food. It's also chicken. They have only one variety for kittens. Our breeder recommended that she will stay on the kitten food up to one year old up to she will reach one year old, one, one year and um, then we will slightly introduce her to big cat's food and mostly because the kitten food variety is very limited. Uh, Royal Cannon has only one canned food type and Pro Plan they have two and kitten can get bored of the same food but uh, breeders said that uh, every time we will change her diet she can experience a little upset stomach so we just need to get used to it and don't uh, worry about it uh, but for her benefits uh, of course we will keep her on a good diet she's very nice little kitty and as you know the rag, rag dolls they reach their full size um, at age four so being on a kitten food until one years old I think it's very reasonable <laughs> because she's uh, just one one fourth of her time to become a big cat, she will be on a kitten pool. Also, with each food, we need to have some balls. What we got, we got a stainless steel ball. I got two of them, but I should get more, unfortunately, because uh, not unfortunately, it just was my oversight. One bowl for water, she needs to have a fresh water every time. One bowl for dry food, she has to have dry food all the time. And then uh, we are gonna feed her with one third of the jar in the morning and one third uh, at night for now. So I will need the third bowl for that. I got just for water and for dry food for now. Very nice stainless steel bowls, not big, not huge. With a little, uh, with a little ribbon cover so it's not cutting and it's not so loud if it falls or if she pushes it. It doesn't scare her. I got it on eBay. It took a while for them to ship, but it was ready for us when we get her. So now I'm waiting for another shipment for the third one. If you like it, I can share a link where I got it. Very nice looking and good uh, quality. It is not recommended for cats to have a plastic jars or plastic bowls because uh, the bacteria in plastic can stay in so it's highly recommended to have a glass bowls or stainless steel of course glass is not safe i guess if um, she's gonna get bigger or decide to play with it she can hurt herself by breaking the glass so stainless steel is the way to go that's all i know for now about the food that we need for our little kid and i will share with you more uh, when we will grow if you will find something better better brands or easier way to get so far we are getting everything on amazon it gets shipped to our house very fast one day two days and uh, not a problem at all good price i i feel and very convenient thank you for watching and we will continue to see you day after day with little tips and little stories of our little friend snowflake bye for now